Okay, so here is the uh, body kit that I have pretty much made from scratch. Now, my friends at Brockbuster, as you all know, have two kits. One's a three inch and one's and a half inch, or one and a half inch, I should say. Which, they're good. Brockbuster makes really good products. I use, as you all mostly know, I use their entire sus steering suspension. I have the bushing, I have the tie rod braces, and I also have the aluminum housing. It was a real expensive piece, but... You know, I like to go ahead and shore that safety up in the Bronco before I get too crazy off-roading it and start getting too crazy with lifts and suspensions and such. So that was one thing. Uh, the only thing about the 1.5, if I was going to go with the Bronco Buster by the if it had been a 1.5 for sure, a three inch is just a little bit too much for me. But since I have the ADD rear bumper, that negates me being able to, quote, uh, use the adapters. Uh, on that bumper to minimize that gap. Um, so what I did is I, you know, did some research on Bronco 6G, found some guys that did their own bumpers, or I'm sorry, our own body lifts. Uh, I found these half inch pucks uh, from a guy on eBay that some people recommended. Uh, he's here in Tinley Park, Chicago. But anyway, so, and they, he makes different sizes too. I just got the, the three inch by half inch with a half inch hole, and you can probably hear Whit in the background here. Come in and check them. Uh, and also, one guy, he did a three quarter inch lift, and he felt the threads weren't quite as long, so he uh, advised, he got these bolts. I probably don't need these bolts and washers for mine because I think the stock bolts will be fine for the half inch, but his being three quarter, and definitely if you're going to the one inch, you do want to get these longer bolts for the front tube. Uh, front two they said and i didn't talk to texas bronc buster uh tyler he said the first two the two up near the radiator those probably would need longer bolts with a three quarter inch spacer uh definitely with uh you know larger spacers he said you probably wouldn't need it for that but he thinks that the stock bolts will be okay with just a half inch spacer i got these just in case they weren't that expensive i figured you know might as well have them i'd better have them and not need them than not have them and need them and then have to wait and have to stop what I'm doing and wait for a shipment to come in, which, you know, sometimes can take for a long time. So bottom line, they're here if I need them, just for those front two mounting spots. Uh, if not, you know, we'll still just use the start bolts and all uh, eight points. You do need eight pucks, two for the very front, two for right behind the driver's door, two for right behind the rear, uh, or sorry, driver's door, two right behind the front doors, two right behind the rear doors, and then two in the very back. So uh, I'll put some links below some other installs uh, with Brock Buster and some other guys to kind of give you guys an idea of what all is involved with the body lift install. Uh, I'll try to shoot some footage out of mine as well. And then we'll let you all decide for yourselves if you think this is something you want to do, it's worth it. Uh, I personally want just a hair bit more lift from the body, not a lot. I think the highest I would probably ever consider going would be a one inch. I'm going to start with these half inches, see how it looks. If I think I could use a little bit more. If the gaps aren't too uh, noticeable between the bumpers and the body. I may go back and do a three quarter or one inch. All right, today's the day. I'm gonna put these uh, body lift on here. Yeah, the fender flash rock because I'm doing another install simultaneous with this one. So we do the front, and we got the second one right there. Then we got a third on this side right here. Then we got the fourth one back here on the rear end. So I got my jack, got my creeper, and then we got our tool set up here got a little checklist here to help me you know we don't forget anything got this off of uh bronc buster you know their install videos and my bronco ventures videos i got this made this from that so we're ready to go all right so i probably didn't have to use these but i decided to get them anyway you can see there is a little bit of length difference but not a lot you know and this just has more thread so I want to use this new bolt guy from uh, Bronco 6G forum told me to get this. Now he had a three quarter inch spacer on his body lift puck on his. I only have a half inch, so I'm probably could get by with the stock ones. But I'm just going to be able to do that just on a second. I mean, there's no more than half an inch difference there, so I think we should be all right. And I just want to show this to you guys. I'll leave a part number below. Okay, so there is the puck for the front right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to say probably not. Eh, there's the puck for the behind the driver's side. I don't know if you can see that. You better see it, man. And then we come out of here. Keep in mind, since I do have the rock slide engineering sliders, we have to remove a bracket here in the front. I had to move another one here in the back. 
Texas Rockbuster. Uh, they kind of helped guide me on that. If you can see it, it was back under here, the other puck. And of course, the rear one's very easy to get to, the easiest one straight under the rubber. Ta da! And I don't know if you can see the puck or not. You might not be able to see the puck. It's up under there. So, anyway, yep, that's pretty much all there is to the body lift. So, very happy with it. No regrets whatsoever. It looks great, in my opinion. And the gap. It's not that big. It is noticeably larger than this factory one, only because I know to look for it. The other hand, I probably wouldn't notice it. I think a three-quarter inch is probably the lowest, the, sorry, the farthest I would ever go. You know, one and a half is just too much gap for me. This is a noticeable gap, but not that bad. So I'd say half an inch and three quarters is just my personal taste. The others may be okay with going a little larger. That's just me. Yeah, hope you guys like and subscribe. More stuff to do. All right, here's a couple of screenshots of the bolts. Also, the pucks that I ordered off eBay. I'll put some links on here for you guys. Here's some before and after pics for you to kind of reference as well. I also want to throw in a checklist right here if you want to pause this. That way you can kind of see it's a cheat sheet, basically. Not much to it. Very quick and easy install. Sorry I couldn't do this step by step. It's just not practical with the camera trying to get it in there to those square spaces. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, like and subscribe. But, you know, we'll put some uh, links to the other videos I use for reference for this. Uh, very quick and easy install. As you can see, pretty big bang for the buck.